share this PPT with Marathi, sir. Uh, I have given this assignment. So before actually uh, giving this assignment, I will show practical session. That is, uh, you have to create a, a column chart showing the student strength of college. Uh, it should be include uh, student strength of last five years and three classes, BSc first year, second year, third year, and total strength. Okay. So graph should include title, legend, axis, label, and so on. So it will depend upon you how you decorate your chart. This is the first chart that you have to create. Second chart, create a line chart showing runs scored by two cricket teams in 50 hours with the interval of five hours. Okay. So format this chart in the similar way as the first chart. Then create a pie chart showing the election result. Uh, it should be include uh, the seats uh, shared by five different political parties. Total seats are 100. Okay. So if, if possible in today's session, we'll try to do this. Otherwise, tomorrow we'll continue this. Now, this, uh, this is all about the chart. Now we will switch towards our uh, practical session. Okay, this was the last child, uh, last slide that I want to share you. Now I will stop this uh, presentation and now I will switch toward the Excel sheet. Okay. Now see, uh, I, I have already uh, prepared this data. Uh, is it uh, visible to all Excel sheet? Excel sheet this in a second, now? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Uh, so here, what I have shown, I have shown uh, the cell of different years of different electronic products. Okay. That is fridge, television, air conditioners. Okay. This is the numerical values that I have shown. Okay. Now what I want to do, I want to prepare a column chart. Okay. Uh, so you can see here, these are the different years. Okay. And these are the different products and their corresponding sales. So obviously what I have to do, I will uh, consider the year on X axis. Okay. X axis where I will show the years. Okay. And on Y axis, I will show the quantity or each product that is sold. Okay. Now see how to prepare this chart. So I will select this data. I will select this data. Okay. Insert. Insert. Okay. Now column chart. So these are the different charts, types of charts available. Column chart, line chart, pie chart, bar chart, area, scatter, and so on. So I will select this column chart. I will click on this. So this drop down menu will be appeared. Okay. So I will select the first option that is column chart. Okay. So I will click on this column chart. Now immediately this chart will be displayed here. Okay. This chart will be displayed here. Okay. Now as you have, uh, you can see the values are appearing on this y, uh, that is y axis okay but on x axis it is showing the numbers only because uh, i have not selected this range okay now see what i will do agodar apan range select karu tyachya madhe then i will explain the other options so i will click on this uh, that is x axis okay simply right click and format axis. So I will click on the format axis. Uh, okay. So I will click on this and select the data. Uh, for, I will, will format that later on. Okay. So horizontal axis that I want to uh, format. So I will click on the period. So see here what it has shown. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So instead of that, I want to show the range. That is year. So I will edit this. Okay, now I will select the range, add label range, axis label range. So I will click on this and now I will select the range. 
I will select this range. Okay. And now you can see here automatically this range is shown here. Once again, I will repeat this. Select the data, edit, I will select this range. Okay. And exit. Okay. Now in this way, now it is proper. Okay, here is appearing on the what x axis, whereas the quantity is appearing on the y axis. Okay, now I want to format this chart because there is no uh, chart title, there is no axis title. Okay, then uh, grid lines are uh, appearing, but all grid lines are not shown. So all these things I have to format. Okay, now observe this. Ribbon, home, insert, page layout, format, data, review, and view. Okay. But as soon as I click on this chart, these three options appear. That is design, layout, and format. Okay. So I will click here. Okay. Now these options are disabled. Disappear. Okay. Again, I will click on the chart. Again, these options are displayed. Okay. Now see, we will format our chart. So I will click on the format. Uh, uh, first of all, design uh, layout. Yes. I will click on the layout. Okay. Now in this layout, now you can see all these options. Title, title, legend, and so on. So we'll see this one by one. Okay. I will click on this chart type. So I will select about the chart. And this chart title will appear. Okay. So I, I can edit this. Okay. So I will type here sales for five years. Now this is you can change the font. Okay. As per your uh, interest this is the first that is chart title now the second that is axis title okay so on x axis i have shown the years okay and on y axis i have shown the total sale so i will click on the axis. okay first of all i will select the primary that is horizontal axis title so title below the axis here yes okay so again, what I want to show here, that is, uh, that is year of sale, year of sale. So this is my axis title. Okay. So this is the Y, uh, sorry, X axis title. Similarly, I will give the Y axis title also, vertical axis. Okay. Now see here, there are different options that available uh, that is y axis title that is rotated title vertical title for small images it is giving the, uh, that is preview how your title will be appear okay so rotated title it will be in rotated format so we'll use this same option so see here this is in rotated format so i will type here uh, that is quantity sold. Now this is called as a rotated style. This is the rotated style. Okay, you can also change this. Now this is a vertical style. Okay. Similarly, there is a horizontal title like this. Okay, but commonly we are using the rotated style. Like this. Okay, so you can move this uh, any uh, upward or downward at like this. 
Maggie. Okay, so I have given the x-axis title as well as y-axis title. Okay, now the next that is legend. Okay, so where you want to show the legend? So most standard way to appear the legend uh, legend on the right side. So commonly, jodi chart as sir, the chamadi legend kuta so right side la. Okay, but in Excel you can uh, show this legend at any part of the uh, chart. That is show legend at right. Now this is standard way. Show legend at top. See here, it it is showing here at the top. Then left. Okay, it is overlapping with the title. Bottom. Okay, then overlap with your chart. Okay, so commonly this is the best way that is showing the legend on the right side. Okay, now the next that is data labels. Okay, now commonly uh, we are not showing the data labels in the chart. जो चार्ट मध्य अपन डेटा लेबल्स शो कर ओके जर तुम्हें इतना व्यवस्थित जर पाल जस्ट इन्क्रीज द साइज सॉरी इन्क्रीज द साइज ऑफ दिस चार्ट ओके तो अपन कॉमनली का करो जस्ट वी आर कंपेरिंग दिस लाइक दिस इन दिस वे ओके टू फिफ्टी बिकॉज चार्ट आर ओनली फॉर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ओके So just by observation, we can decide exact calculations are not done by using a chart. Okay. Fakta tha mizar tum wala vichar lagi wo 2015 ki strain jasti hoti ka 16 ki strain jasti hoti. Immediately you will say 2016. Okay. But what is the quantity? Now it, actually such questions are not expected from chart. Okay. Because exact result can be given by your tables. Okay. Charts are only to understand the data. Okay. But by using the chart, you can show the data values also. If I want to uh, show the data values, so it can be also shown on these bars. So these are the data labels. Okay, where you want to show? That is outside. Commonly, we are showing outside at the end. So here, like this. Okay, so it is showing now exact values. Okay, the pun best practice. We are not showing the data. Okay, data values can be shown. Exact data values can read from the table. They are not expected to uh, in the chart. Okay, these values are displayed at.
हेलो हेलो यस सर दूसरा लेक्चर आएगा कौन अगर नहीं माइ हाँ ये तो इस रात आ हेलो हाँ हेलो सर आ सर थोड़े लाइट लाइट के लिए नहीं मुटो में लेके ले आवाज आ रहा वो आवाज ये तो है सर आवाज ये तो ओके 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 आप समझे नेटवर्क इश्यू एफआई ओके सर तुम चलने सर दुबे सरन साय लेक्चर दुबे दुबे सरन साय हो आ सर बहुत ही में होस्ट नहीं है सर पर तुम्हारा होस्ट करूँगा तमाह को होस्ट कर दो ओके सर Okay, is it visible? Oh, I think it is visible. Okay, so these are the uh, data labels. Okay, and then uh, the next thing that we can use for writing is data table. Okay. Now see, commonly in chart we are not using the data table. Okay. Chart are chart are drawn by using the data table. But in chart itself, we are not using the data table. But in Excel, you can put the data tables in your chart. Okay. So just simply on this. See here. Okay. At the bottom of chart is it has shown the uh, that is it has been in the chart it has been in the chart so it has adjusted all the rows and columns chart okay so in the chart So the next one is the axis. Okay, I will uh, do this uh, table. Actually, data table. Then, okay. So already we have done right axis. So these are the labels. So this is labeling, right to left axis, okay. So the city is hard and it is the correct form. You need not to change the city. Okay, so this is the axis of the city. This is the chart of the city. This one. Not this one. Okay, this is the axis of the city.
हाँ लेफ्ट टू राइट ओके लेफ्ट टू राइट दिस इज अबाउट दी एक्सिस ओके शो एक्सिस इन थाउजेंड्स ओके वन मोर थिंग दैट इज द ग्रीड लाइन्स दैट आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग That is horizontal. There are two types of grid lines. These are the horizontal grid lines and these are the vertical grid lines. Means these horizontal grid lines, major grid lines, which are all already displayed. Now these are the minor grid lines. Okay, and also we can show major grid lines like this. Okay, so these are the horizontal grid lines. Okay. Similarly, we can show the vertical grid lines also. Now these are the major vertical grid lines, okay. and minor vertical grid lines, and we we'll show both. Okay. So this is about the formatting the chart. How to uh, give the axis uh, label to the axis? How to give the uh, chart axis uh, title to the chart? Then all and uh, format the chart. I can change the color in this. Okay. So this is the option. Okay, number of options are here. Okay. Just now, this is an imaginary concept. Means this is depends upon your how often they will do it. Okay. Then the next uh, one more option that I will give is values. Okay. By default, it is taken the uh, interval of fifty, zero fifty, fifty to hundred, hundred to fifty, so on. Okay. Now I want to change. I want to show this. Uh, change with twenty five instead of fifty. So what I will do, I will format my this axis. Now you can see here. Now see here, it is zero. Zero. I will. Ha. Only zero. Zero to maximum is three hundred. Now see this automatically adjusted by Excel. So what it will do? It will check all the values while preparing the chart. Just by being aware about it, it has seen maximum. Okay. So it has okay. So after two fifty, automatically last value is two hundred. So our last value will be three hundred. Okay, it is automatically done by the Excel, but we can. So what I will do, I will, uh, I will use the instead of fifty. What I will do, I will set as twenty five. Now you can see. Okay. Axis value. Where the common on default thing is proper, we need not to change this. This may that is the uh, that is.
हेलो हेलो हाँ हेलो सर नमस्कार बोलते थे हाँ पत्की सर लेफ्ट जाले का रेंज का प्रॉब्लम जाना है बताना ओके मजा आवाज है सर ये तो हो ये तो है सर ये बात एक मिनट दो मिनट अपन वाट को सर जी करना बोला कि हो हो सर एक मिनट मैं फोन कर सर आवाज नहीं सर इंटरनेट का प्रॉब्लम हेलो हेलो सर हेलो हेलो हाँ हाँ मराठे सर सर आई थिंक टुडे आई विल कंक्लूड दिस लेक्चर जवपास मैक्म पॉइंट इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर आई विल कंटिन्ू चलते सर चलते सर जॉइन हो 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 ओके सो डियर पार्टिसिपेंट्स आई मस्ट एक्सप्रेस माय ग्रेटिट्यूड टूअर्ड डॉक्टर उल्लास पत्की पत्की सर फॉर प्रेजेंटिंग हिज व्यूज रिगार्डिंग कॉम्प्यूटर साइंस सो थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच सर Thank you, sir. Uh, so now we are switch over to the uh, our next guest lecture. Uh, Dr. Jay Prakash Dubey sir is with us. So uh, Dr. Jay Prakash Dubey sir is uh, work as assistant professor at NES Science College Nandel. So I welcome Dr. Dubey sir Thank and you, request sir. Him, uh, request Thank him to uh, continue his uh, session, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So good afternoon, all of you. Hope you listen my sound clearly. Yes, sir. Yes, your audio. Okay. Can you make me host, sir? Yes, sir. One minute. Sir, you may uh, share your screen. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> so, okay, once again. welcome all of you in the last section or in the last lecture we have discussed the, <coughs> the insert tab in detail then page layout tab is also discussed i think today we will discuss the references tab and its groups okay the fourth tab that is references tab which is important for thesis writing paper writing etc regarding that this references tab is important which is having uh, table of content footnotes citations and bibliography captions index table of authorities such groups are there in under references tab out of that table of content 
then <clears throat> citations and bibliography. सर दुबे सर हेलो हेलो दुबे सर तुम्हारा माइक म्यूट है सर दुबे सर हेलो हेलो दुबे सर हेलो आवाज ये हेलो बाकी हो सर ओके वन मिनट मी फोन Yes sir, yes sir. Sorry. Right. Due to some reasons, I was disconnected earlier. So I am speaking about the references tab. Uh, which one is important for? Am I connected or not? Yes sir. Yes sir. so this tab is uh, tab is much important for research scholar as i have told you so we will discuss at references tab first the, the first group is table of content which contains table of content add text update table but uh, can you mute your mic if necessary then and then you can on your mic otherwise please keep silent It's my request. Your sound is disturbing me. Thank you. So the table of content, the first tab, uh, first group of references is table of content, which is at the left side of this ribbon. Uh, the first option or command is table of content, and two more options that is add text and update table. So all that can be studied in detail. <clears throat> What is exactly table of content? so it is nothing sometimes it is generally called as index or table of content okay table of content or index which is generally at the beginning of thesis or book or reference book etc <clears throat> so what is the use of table of content with the help of table of content we can see the content of that document content of that book content of that research paper or uh, thesis okay in a one side in a one look we can see all the content what is there what is there present in the document or book within a fraction we can see what are the content and this one is important one for every research book research uh, thesis etc 
So one of the most common feature of professional document is table of content. Microsoft Word makes the creation of table of content easier by allowing you the option of creating a table of content without styles and by allowing you to make a single word or group of words in a particular body of text and add that information to the table of content. Means what? Generally what happens, table of content, if we <coughs> arrange it manually, as I have told you in the early lectures, it is very difficult to manage the table of content because many times what happens, the thesis or the document may get extend and the number of pages will increase in your document. As the number of table, number of pages increases, the page numbers also increase, disturb. And when you assign a particular page number to particular <coughs> title or important one word in your table of content, it will be get changed. That's why again you have to change your table of content. That is that is in case of manual. But if you follow the table of content groups option and its command, then that all table of content will be automatically managed by the MS Word. So it will <coughs> um, it will easy to create the table of content and it will reduce our efforts. Okay. A table of content can be generated by using a leading emphasis feature. That means what? Leading emphasis feature means what? The most important key term, key word in your paragraph that can be added to your table of content. Are you getting what I'm saying? The important word, important term, important keyword can be, or generally those words are present in table of content which are important ones. Title, heading, such words that are important. So leading emphasis is feature. That is called what? Leading emphasis feature. So such words, such terms can be automatically added to the table of content. But you have to, what you have to do, you have to apply the style apply the heading style to those to these words by using the leading emphasis feature you can create paragraphs where the first portion of the paragraph that is the beginning part beginning word two to three words or that much words which you want to be put into the table of content can be added okay format with heading style that you have to format with heading style and appears in table of content. That is, that can be appear in the table of content along with its page number. But the rest of the paragraph is normal text. It is working as a normal text, which cannot be entered into the table of content. If we make it as a heading, apply the heading style. Okay. In Word, you can create a table of content based on portions of the text in a paragraph without including the whole paragraph. You did not require to include or insert whole paragraph. Just you want to put some important word of that paragraph. So you can make text by using the lead in emphasis feature with heading styles to include the text. Okay, how to insert the table of content? To insert a table of content, we have to follow these steps. What are these steps? Start MS Word as in the case, and then open your document into which you want to insert the table of content. Okay, then click an empty paragraph where you want to insert the table of content. In the generally, it is at the beginning of the document. So go to the top or, or go to the beginning of the document and click there. That is empty paragraph. Then third step is what? Click table of contents in table of content group of on a references tab, and then click on insert tab of content like this. As I have here, suppose now references, then table of content and select the table of content, okay, as in this case. Third step is what, table of content in the, click table of content in the table of content group of references tab, then click out, insert table of content, references, table of content, and insert table of content, this one. In this way, a table of content window will be open. Are you getting? Once again, click on references tab, then table of content and click on insert table of content. Okay. The third step, 
then select the options that you want to apply to the tab table of content in table of content dialog box and click on ok like this table of content table of content and <coughs> heading one heading two etc and click on ok okay so note if the text that is contained in your document is not marked to be included in table of content you receive some message that is no table of content entry is found if you have not made any headings head, uh, not applied heading style heading style then such message should be displayed on your screen so how to mark the text how may mark the text to include into the table of content how to it the next step is to mark the text that you want to include in your table of content by using lead in emphasis with heading style use one or more of the following methods the first method is what use lead in emphasis with heading style with heading style so select any lead in text in your document that you want to include in your table of content for example okay select any paragraph and then select that text from that paragraph which you want to be into the table of content for example this is my paragraph out of that just i want to put this this text into my table of content so select it okay in the following paragraph if you want to include the introductory words window in this case this one in your table of just select these words and then continue to the step what is the text step click the heading style where is the heading style it is into the home tab home tab go to particular heading so suppose i want to make it as a heading one it will be like this click the heading style that you want in the style group on the home tab update the table now what you have to do update the table how to update so i will show you all that in with with a different or other document okay i have one more document this one database for exercise purpose suppose already table of content is created so again we will create our own table of content which will be different one so suppose i want to create here i make some space for that one that purpose and i click here and go to the references tab go to the table of content and insert table of content and okay by default it creates created the table of content this one why because the heading and styles are already applied content database terminologies applications histories by default because all these terms are here in this document are labeled or that um, applied the heading style and regarding that as per that case this database terminology view then applications all are applied the what this style heading 4 heading 3 then this one heading 4 such headings are already applied that's why the table of content was automatically created but i think because what i have done for practical practice purpose practical purpose i have created that document this one sorry this one uh, from the pdf file which i have converted into ms word i have a book in pdf and that is database management system this one is book which i have already downloaded for my study and i think that if i convert this pdf file to the ms word which this one is that ms word file which was 
which I have converted from PDF to Word. And think that there are no headings. But <clears throat> uh, once I have click, clicked on references and table of content, the table of content automatically created because these heading styles are already applied in this document. That's why it is created. So we have not get the chance to apply the heading. Are you getting? I would like to clear that. Me he ek aplela practice sati ek document banun gitla hota. Tumala dakho ta yao ya sati ek maja kada PDF chhi file hoti ya nawachi. Yala me word madhe convert korun gitla. Ani ash apiksha keli ki yatta madhe yaat style apply keli na na steel. Pan automatically jawa me chala word madhe convert kela. Tya vele ya sarva heading chala by default apply korun ali le ahe. Tya mulo aplela ite. प्रैक्टिस करत असताना चान्स मिळालेला नाही की आपल्याला त्याला हेडिंग अप्लाई करावे लागते अप्लाई करायचा चान्सच भेटला नाही आणि जेव्हा मी रेफरेंसेस टॅब टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट वर आणि इन्सर्ट टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट वर क्लिक केलं त्याच वेळेस ऑटोमॅटिकली हा टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट तयार झालेला आहे गॉट इट सो इफ वी टेक अ न्यू डॉक्युमेंट व्हिच इज नॉट अप्लाइड व्हिच इज नॉट अप्लाइड एनी स्टाईल देन वी विल गेट to add the table of content. When you apply another Ekhada Navin document, Gitler, Jamade, Uklai Prakar, just styles apply Kilil and the steel, Katavi, Tata headings la in leading text emphasis la upon select Kurun Kurun upon your home tab bodun. Ya Vedura styles that Tala apply Kilia. And in Murg, Tananta references with tab over the own, table of content for his own, Rikamatikani, apply curse. सर क्लिक केला अशा ठिकाणी जर क्लिक केला आणि मग टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट मध्ये जाऊन मी इन्सर्ट टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट कमांड दिली तर का होईल त्या त्या हेडिंग माझ्या टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट मध्ये एंटर होती आणि पुढे चलून जर तुमचा टेक्स्ट इफ युअर डॉक्युमेंट इज एक्सटेंडेड विथ पेज नंबर्स देन जस्ट अप्लाई दिस न्यू स्टाइल्स इनटू द न्यूली एंटर्ड डॉक्युमेंट टेक्स्ट पेजेस एंड जस्ट अपडेट दैट टेबल where how to update just click here and sorry or you can just update table there update entire table and table. the newly added pages will also be added into the this table of content okay uh, i think uh, <coughs> You all, all understand how to insert a table of content in your document, which saves you are much time and efforts. Got it? Samaste Sarvana, Asha Sopya Paddatin upon table of content, apply document sati, banu shakto. Okay. Then have such a step side. Punalakai Vichara Checha Baddan. Hello. Hello. No, sir. Samadhi, sir, one. Yes, sir. Apla, me, tumcha sati khas te document bano na khara. Pan tehla by default headings apply jale le asla karna mulo apla la te table of content create karta ala nahi. Thik hai. Sir, ekhada navin document jamade style apply kile le nahi. Heading style apply kile lene. Asa jar ghet la. Bhavishat ekhada example me tumala anchin korun da kusha te. Taisa tayari na ho to. Awaz bro ho to sir. Sorry. Bhavishat madhe ekhada purla lecture madhe ekhada file me tayar korun ghiu niye. Ani puna ekda te malak korun da khwin. Jais tumcha purna anchin laksha te. Jar anchin kuna la kai vichara cha sil. Tar please vichara. एक ड्रामेटिकली आहे हे खूप मजेदार लवकर तुम्हाला तुमच्या थिसिस मध्ये टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट एंटर करता ये ओके त्याच्या ह्या स्टेप्स मी इथे दिलेले आहेत एक एग्जांपल आहे बघा हाउ टू रिमूव हेडिंग्स फ्रॉम द टेबल ऑफ कंटेंट सेलेक्ट मार्क द टेक्स्ट क्लिक द ड्रॉप डाउन आरो द स्टाइल बॉक्स 
okay i will try Can we remove the style of life? I will try. It's called this one. All the formattings are getting changed. If I make it normal, I'm trying to find it. Which science? Which one? This one. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. हेलो सो द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज वॉट फुट नोट इन द रेफरेंस टैब फुट नोट इज देर the second group in the references tab is footnotes so footnotes are also important uh, generally footnotes are at the bottom of page and the notes are giving much or uh, extra information about particular terms and generally that are like this suppose this is a paragraph and this is a footnote so to the footnotes and numbers are applied numbers are generated suppose in this case a here the super subscript a is created and in the note a is written and its explanation is given there so many times we may need such footnotes so now we will discuss how to add these footnotes into your this is our document okay that one that one is also important for you okay so <clears throat> footnotes are sometimes necessary for providing additional or extra information in your document they normally use a super subscript number as a mark mark making it easy for the reader to simply look down from the text to the notes at the bottom to gather further information what is the purpose of footnote footnotes will give some additional information about the terms which are special terms which are, which are used in your document or thesis regarding that or uh, related to that uh, important word keywords and new words we can give some additional information in the bottom at the bottom of document page what is not it it is at the bottom of uh, document it is at the bottom of every page the words which are important are new one which are present on that particular page can be noted as a footnote okay so word automatically keeps track of numbering now by using the footnote groups the words automatically keeps tracks of tracks of numbering 
automatically numbers will be applied and placement of the footnote for you making this painless task to perform when writing that thesis book or scientific papers research papers okay and how to insert these footnotes to insert footnotes into your document follow these steps number one in the ribbon click the references tab as i have no as we know this is present under references tab so we have to click on references tab then in the footnote section footnote group click insert footnote where is this one insert footnote okay word will word will insert the references mark at the point you selected and then click or then take you to the bottom of the page then you can type your footnote okay for example suppose uh, automatically i want to write the footnote about automatically just i selected it go to the references and click on insert footnote so it is second footnote for me and i write it whatever i want to write about that automatic you can write and where is that automatic you can see the number 2 or navigation mode previous here this one so this super subscript two is applied to this automatically keyword key this is my second footnote so now i want from another footnote regarding apa so i click on insert footnote and getting it is a referencing style like this third so in this way we can insert footnotes at the bottom of your pages using references tab and insert footnote footnote got it then insert end note what will happen add an end note to the document it will add the note to the bottom of your document okay and insert footnote will add the note to the bottom of that page and next footnote or this button will use it as navigation that is next footnote previous footnote and next end note and previous end note for this purpose this option or command can be used that is navigator for footnote okay so in this way we can add footnote to the your document and end of the document clear anyone any question no question then bibliography i'm oh, sorry put note then citations and bibliography the next group is what citations and bibliography this is also important i think all you listen me aikta na sagle jan ho sir ha yacha puri cha yacha sathi kai problem point sathi ha e mahatvacha hai tumcha sathi jeva tumhi thesis write karal tya vele tumhala khup mahatvacha hai hm tyachanantar third jo group ahe that is what citations and bibliography under the references tab okay so this group 
provides tools to insert citations, manage sources, citation style, and bibliography. So, citations are generally used to give the references what you have used to complete your thesis or research paper. What got it? And it is important for you to insert or to add the re references from where you have get that paragraphs or that that knowledge or that information to your research paper and thesis. It is important. Okay. So that can be easily inserted into your document or thesis or research papers with the help of references tab under the citations and bibliography group. So there are various types of styles to add the references. The API style, then Chicago style, then IEEE style, GB7714 style, okay. ISO style, MLA style, etc. Then I triple. So these are the some styles by using which we can insert the references to your thesis or doc, uh, sorry research paper. So I will just explain about all these styles in short. APA style or format of referencing. This is like this, where the author's name is <coughs> typed first, then publication of that reference, then title, then subtitle, and edition, and publisher. This information should be or must be important when we are using APS type. APA format for referencing. Okay. Very important. So if we apply this one, from where you can apply this style? From the style option of the citations and bibliography. You can use various all these styles. Here, IEEE style is not there. Generally, we use IEEE style but it is not present here in this window office 2007. So how to add that one is also to be discussed. Its steps are also given by you, given there. So first of all, APA style. So APA style is what, what is APA style? While referencing with APA style, you have to mention the author's name, author one, author two, by separating it the name by comma, then year of publication, then title of that research paper, resource, from where you have taken the <coughs> information. If any subtitle is there, that can be mentioned. And then the edition, what edition was of that resource, and then publisher. The Chicago method, method is also there. The style of Chicago is like this one, example of Chicago, where author's surname, then year of publication, and page numbers are important while using Chicago method the style. Then GB7714 format, where the number is given into the square bracket, then author's name, last name, then title, then editorialist name, edition, publication, and year of publication. Then ISO 960 standard is like this, bullets or numbers, then author's name, then title, year of publication, ISSN number, and page number. MLA style, so 
author's name, res uh, then resource name, that is title of that publication, then volume, then number of pages, etc. And the last one, I triple E. Generally, references are present into the paragraph like this, the number, and that can be references like this. Reference number, author name, then title of the resource or publication, then edition, then publication, and year of publication. And if page numbers are present, that can also be mentioned. So these are the various formats or styles to apply the, to uh, sorry, to use the references. And using references is our responsibility, our duty to <coughs> give acknowledgement to the uh, resources or to the researchers who have um, worked for us and provided that material to you. So it is the, our duty to give the references. And also using references will remove or minimize your plagiarism of the thesis. Naksha Deta, Tumcha thesis ta asel, kiwa research paper ta asel, proper to me references jar wapar le, tar plagiarism kami eto. Aplaya university madhe plagiarism haa jawar paas panchis takya cha khali asla paise. Plagiarism samasthe na, what is plagiarism? Anyone? I touch in a Malaka Yes, sir. Plagarism, plagarism cast. What is plagarism? Plagarism is a Bushresa document. I contain Tabla, a summary unit. So to Malaka, particularly science faculty, Made, plagarism of Patkan Pakala Zato, but to Kamikaraka center proper references to Malaka, who are perle pies. To me, the content to the thesis, my dear sale, to the research paper, my dear sale, to me, wapper tana, or the references are the proper dialogue project that I miss to my style to format me after Sangitilia. Or the case insert courage, just to me, Microsoft Word of approval to the research paper to a doc thesis air carta sal, or references tab made citations and bibliography to under made insert citations. पर क्लिक करून एक इंसर्ट सायटेशन चा विंडो ओपन होईल त्यामध्ये तुम्हाला त्या पब्लिकेशनचे डिटेल्स एंटर करायचे आणि जेव्हा जेव्हा जिथे जिथे ते लागेल तेव्हा तेव्हा तिथे ते तिथे ते तुम्ही वापरू शकता कसं ते पहा आता त्याच्या स्टेप्स मी इथे दिलेले आहेत स्टेप्स टू इंसर्ट इंसर्ट रेफरेंसेस सेट द डॉक्युमेंट स्टाईल लाईक एपीए और एमएल और आय ट्रिपल कुठून करणार हे स्टाईल सेट कशी करायची तर रेफरेंसेस टॅब मध्ये जायचंय आणि सायटेशन्स आणि बिब्लियोग्राफी या ग्रुप मध्ये इथे स्टाईल दिसते पहा त्याच्यापैकी जे ज्या पद्धतीचा फॉरमॅट तुम्हाला पाहिजे दॅट कॅन यू दॅट यू कॅन चूज फॉर एक्झाम्पल पर्टिक्युलरली हियर ॲट दिस केस इन दिस केस एपीआय इज प्रेझेंट ॲट शिकागो जीबी सेव्हन सेव्हन वन फोर आउट ऑफ दॅट एपीआय हॅव सिलेक्टेड देन इन दिस वे वी कॅन सिलेक्ट पर्टिक्युलर फॉरमॅट option style option in the citation sign bibliography group in reference system then creating source and adding source to the database a database is to be created about the resources or sources how to create it and then from that database we can apply we can insert references into your document and its a note will be given at the end of your document or thesis okay so how to create that source and add source to the database with the document open in word click references tab then click citations and bibliography group and click the manage source button which will display the source manage source manager dialog box like this insert and then click manage sources then add new where is it 
is not open the blue room add new source click up. insert citation then add new source here the create source window is opened here how it i have opened i have clicked on references then insert citation then add new source here you have to specify what is your source is it book it is book section it is journal article article in periodical etc whatever it regarding that these fields will be changed okay then suppose it is a article in periodical and then it will ask some fields to fill fill it suppose author suppose author is ramesh gaukar then co author if yes title suppose r d v m s periodical title suppose <coughs> views year of publication month date and pages suppose it is 1999 month march date first and pages suppose it is 10 2 and then okay <clears throat> then manage sources here sources are there ramesh gaukar rdbms 99 it is here and as per api style we can select that this one masters list in this way source is created and you can apply all these references suppose i want to apply uh, here insert then there is the list if this one and click here see the reference is added here and at the bottom all these references will be automatic automatically added okay in this way we can add references into our thesis or research paper as per requirement got it samajh lo sarvanna yete lakshya yes sir ha creating source and adding sources check kela त्यानंतर क्लिक द न्यू एज आय क्लिक ऑन न्यू बटन एंड एड अ न्यू सोर्स विच विल देन डिस्प्ले द्रिएट सोर्स डायलॉग बॉक्स इन द क्रिएट सोर्स डायलॉग बॉक्स इन द टाइप ऑफ सोर्स ड्रॉप डाउन सेलेक्ट बुक देन बुक और एनी रिवर्स रिसोर्स मे बी आर्टिकल और पेपर और रिसर्च पेपर एक्सेट्रा देन इन्सर्ट इन डिटेल then we can also edit the resource data how to edit click on references tab from the citations and bibliography manage source here where you can edit it if you want to select that one and edit so the same edit source file will be open where you can edit it okay so this is about regarding edit then note to get source uh, if you interest interested how to add ieee standard or format to word ms word its steps are here 
this is a <coughs> source web source from where you can download that format and use all these steps and zip the file from the downloaded and copy them to the following folder that is office 2007 on windows 32 and if that office is of 64 bit this is technical part actually it is to be set before using the references in all cases for 10 for 64 bit and 32 bit do you know what is 32 bit what is 64 bit anyone No, no reference. Uh, reference, I'm sorry. Response. Then we come across the caption group. May I proceed ahead? Would you point to the Lucas? How did I? Saddam Sir Boltaka. सद्दाम सर यही है हाँ यहाँ पे जो है मैंने वो जनरली हम आईट्रिपली स्टैंडर्ड का फॉर्मेट यूज़ करते हैं तो उसको आपके एमएस वर्ड में कैसे ऐड करने का है उसके कुछ स्टेप्स एक्चुअली ये तो क्वेश्चन आएगा नहीं इसके बारे में हाउ टू ऐड फॉर्मेट बट हाउ टू ऐड रेफरेंसेस तू योर डॉक्यूमेंट ओके okay. एंड okay. अगर आपको ये फॉर्मेट चाहिए इस यहाँ पे जो कि अभी यहाँ पे है क्या नहीं है तो आपको यहाँ पे ऐड करना है तो एक टेक्निकल है उसके लिए मैंने ये नोट्स दिया हूँ यहाँ पे ये यहाँ पे सोर्स भी दिया हूँ अगर मैं यहाँ पे क्लिक करता हूँ तो देखो ये वेबसाइट ओपन हो जाएगी वहाँ से हम उसको डाउन डाउन देखो बिब्लियोग्राफी स्टाइल डाउनलोड कर करके लेने का है फिर उसको अनजिप करना है उसकी भी स्टेप्स मैं दिया हूँ यहाँ पे आपका जो भी है 32 बिट है या 64 बिट है रिगार्डिंग दैट यू हैव टू डाउनलोड दैट सोर्स फ्रॉम द वेबसाइट एंड कॉपी दैट सोर्स कॉप दैट फाइल इनटू दिस लोकेशंस इफ इफ इट इज so C colon program files Microsoft Office Office 12 or Office 7 whatever it bibliography style and style. In this folder you have to copy that file. Then if you restart your PC and open the Microsoft, then the style will be added here in this list. And then we can apply that style into your thesis or document. Then we come across the next step, next point that is cap captions what is caption where to use it anyone the caption is a small sentence which is added to the uh, all document caption, for, is, for, uh, caption is a, a small uh, sentence which is uh, uh, added to the our uh, paper for small information no sir if you look at these notes, you can clear that inserting table of figures. Okay. Inserting captions to your tables, figures, or graphs, etc. That are called the captions. The name, the information about the figure, which is given. For example, generally we write it. I shown in the following figure number one, like that. I explained in the following figure number three. Where is that figure number three? FIG figure three, table number, table two, table three. And all these are present in your thesis and research paper and your documentation. Documents. Okay. The <coughs> caption. Okay. 
the headings applied to the figure to the table to the graph or images into your document that is called a caption okay that are called a caption so how to add so, words are also there yes sir yes yes words are also added called as caption नहीं समझ नहीं पाया आप क्या बोल रहे तो आप वर्ड भी ऐड करो तो उसकी कैप्शन बोल देना वर्ड वर्ड ऐड करो तो उसकी कैप्शन कैसे नहीं नहीं कैप्शन का कंसेप्ट क्या आप है आप जब हम इमेजेस अपने डॉक्यूमेंट में है या कोई टेबल है तो टेबल के नीचे जब हम नाम देते हैं तो उसको बोलते हैं कैप्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल लाइक सपोज दिस इज अमेज this one top one okay. and these are the in this is the information regard about that image this is called a caption this one okay then this one or this one this is caption the information or reference of that figure or image or that um, graph फिगर मे ऑल्सो गेट डिस्प्लेसड From that page, ऐसा हो सकता है कि वो जो फिगर है हमारा टेक्स बढ़ने या कम होने के वजह से वो वहां से दूसरे पेज पे जा सकता है तब क्या होगा अगर आपने लिखा है यहाँ पे कि आज शोन इन द फॉलोइंग फिगर नंबर टू और वो फिगर चली गई तीसरे पेज पे तो और गलत रेफरेंस हो जाएगा पढ़ने के लिए तो वो नहीं होना प्रॉपर रहना पेज नंबर भी वैसे के वैसे रहेंगे और कैप्शन भी वही रहेगा तो इसलिए ये वहां पे दिया है ठीक है तो ये कैप्शन है तो उसके बारे में सो अ टेबल ऑफ फिगर इज अ कंटेंट पेज विथ रेफरेंस ग्राफ्स पिक्चर्स एंड टेबल बिफोर यू कैन क्रिएट अ टेबल ऑफ फिगर यू नीड टू क्रिएट कैप्शन फॉर ईच फिगर अगेन ये एक मेथड है एक प्रोसेस है एक फॉर्मेट है कि आपके थीसिस में आपके बुक में जितने भी इमेजेस है ग्राफ्स है या पिक्चर्स है उसकी भी एक लिस्ट उसको बोलते हैं हम टेबल ऑफ फिगर वो अभी थीसिस में जरूरी है करना ही पड़ता है तो उसके लिए भी ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ओके यू नीड टू क्रिएट अ कैप्शन for that regarding that table of figure we may need captions applying the caption how to apply click on anywhere on the figure to select it agar aapki image hai to usko select karo us select karne ke liye wo image pe kahi pe bhi click karo like this samjho ki ye suppose this is a image on where on it i click it will be selected click the references tab already it is clicked click the insert caption where is the insert caption this one okay and customize the caption and click okay sorry customize figure number 2 whatever it apply give the name label position below or above the selected item and click on okay button is it there suppose it is not insert caption figure uh, it is a what caption window
a caption window a caption window one then a caption window where i want to put i want to put it at the below then okay In this way, you can add various label and details about that table, figure, graph, etc. Okay. Then customize the caption and click on OK. Then generating a table of figure. Generally, it is at the below the table of content. This table of figure table is generally situated at and below the table of content table of content ke exactly below ye table of figures hum rakhte hain theek hai to wo position pe jana hai for example go to the top one like here and click on click at that position then follow the following steps Just minute. Then click where you wish to insert the table as I have done. Then click the references tab. Go to the references tab. Where is it? References. Then click on insert table of figure. Insert table of figure. This one. Then customize the table and click OK. Customize that table, caption one, text one, whatever it is. As per your requirement, you can change the and click on modify and then click on OK. OK. It is entered here. As I have clicked on OK. It was it was all automatically inserted as I have click on OK button. That's why it is inserted there. Okay, click on insert and table of figures, then click on OK. If I click on OK, again it will create. In the box that appears, select update entries and click on OK. If asking for updating already created, then it will ask for update. If it is first time created, it will be automatically create that table of figures. Okay. In this way, we can insert a table of figures and captions to the <coughs> figures, tables, and images. How to update a table of figure? If you edit or move or delete a caption, sorry. Then you have to update it. For updating purpose, click one on the table of figure. Click the references tab, go to the update table button and update entire table and click on OK. It will update. If any changes you have made, that will be also again added to your table of content, sorry, table of figure. Okay. In this way, we can update. So this is about insertion, inserting captions and inserting table of figures.
and then some of the uh, next that is cross references cross references that is to be discussed in the next lecture okay clear so okay. today we have discussed uh, the references tab with table of contents footnotes citations and bibliography and captions out of that that cross references is remains behind we will discuss in later on so today i think it is sufficient for today and we will stop here okay thank you sir thank you uh, so uh, if you have any difficulties please ask kai prashna still to vicharu shakta so uh, i express my gratitude towards uh, dr jayprakash dubey sir on behalf of all the participants and we of uh, research committee science college nanded for delivering uh, a lecture on computer application so thank, thank you. you thank you very much sir thank you sir thank you okay